Dearly beloved brothers, sisters, and friends, please let us rise to take the opening hymn. We are taking TSP 153. TSP 153.
TSP number 15. TSP And say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom has come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and leave us not in temptation but it Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Hail Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Please take your seats. Dearly beloved brothers, sisters, and friends, we thank God Almighty for His mercy on us once again. The Bible gives you understanding that the arch enemy of God and man, Satan the devil, According to Apostle Peter, he's going about like roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yet, the Bible as well assured us that God Almighty is so merciful. Using a, 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 a Jeremiah to say, the book of Lamentation, that it is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed, because the compassion does not fail. And so, it's part of the devil's uh, antics in disturbing the human race, God Almighty has continued to show his mercy on us, to help us, keeping us safe by his grace and power. Before we take the, the closing prayer, we want to read ourselves the test we have for today, in Wednesday, August 28, 2024. The test today reads as follows. 
And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have, have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. And will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Unquote. Luke chapter 15, verse 17 and 18. Comment. No, no matter how long and how far one has been in a wrong way, one should and come and can still turn back. The parable of the prodigal son illustrated the importance of examining one's behavior in line with 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, and resolving to make positive change by God's grace. Motivation to change can, as, can also be learned from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24 to 27. Quote, By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater, greater, the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had, he had, he had respect unto the recompense of the reward." Unquote. See also Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Upon return of the prodigal son, he was forgiven by the father. Luke chapter 15, verse 19 to 24. Remind ourselves once again of the theme we are discussing. Overcoming behavioral disorder. And the test this morning of today is talking about changing from whatever errors we have made, whatever mistake we have been making, whatever the wrong way we have been taking, we should change. In course of taking this thing, overcoming behavioral disorder, we touch so many things, so many areas. We talk about idol worship. We talk about anger. We talk about drunkenness and so many other areas we touched. So, the, today, the, this test talking, this, today's test talking about changing or examining ourselves to change from the wrong way is a very fine way to end this team because this is the last test for under, to under this team overcoming behavioral disorder. And the instance of the prodigal son has been brought up for us to consider the aspect of changing or repentance. The story of the prodigal son in the Bible is a very familiar one to Bible students. The parable given by Jesus Christ about the son who, uh, who came to his father. The father has two sons, came to his father and said that the father should give him his inheritance so that uh, he can live, he can want to live his life. The father kicked against it, as, as told by Jesus Christ, and the, at the end of the day, he gave the son or the all that he needed, what belonged to him, a war of inheritance. And he left home. He left home, went into the world, and lived a very righteous life, and spent all his substances and all his wealth, inheritance, he spent them. Then later, where he ran to, where he went to, there was hunger in the place, and he was hungry, and he was looking for somewhere, someone to feed, he did not, not have, so he went to give himself as a laborer to somebody who has a swine or animals which he was keeping. They had to take up that work. Then, because he had, no, he had nobody to give him food to eat, uh, the record says that he was even eating from the food he was giving to the animals. So while he was there, he now considered himself. He considered him, he, he, took, he examined himself and looked back who. That, the text for today says, he said that his father at home has many servants. They eat and they have enough to eat. But here, where he was at that time, he was suffering. So he said he would return to his father. 
and actually return to the father. And he said that when you get there, he will tell the father, I'm no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. But the otherwise is the case. The father received him happily and then made celebration, made a party to receive him, treated him well. And then the last statement we made about this story says, upon return of the bodyguard's son, he was forgiven by the father. The father forgave him all of that. Now, the statement we made here is that no matter how long, no matter how far, one has gone the wrong way. Change. After examining yourself or herself, you should change and come back to God Almighty. That God Almighty is ready to forgive. Please read the book of Isaiah chapter 1. Read verse 18 and 19. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. He said that no matter how serious, no matter how deep one has gone into the wrong way or have been committing certain things or have been showing behavioral disorder for a long time, no matter how long and no matter how deep, you should come back. What did God Almighty use Isaiah to say? Please read. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. But God Almighty said, using Isaiah, come now, those that are on the wrong way, those that have been de deep in wrongdoings, come and let us reason together. Read on. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, as dangerous and as deep as scarlet, yes, they shall be as white as snow. That I will forgive you and going to be as white as snow. Read on. Though they be red like crimson. Though they be red as crimson. Still talking about the grievous nature of our commitment or sins one has engaged himself in. Yes? They shall be as wool. They shall be as wool. Go on. If ye be willing and obedient. If uh, such one is willing to return, willing to examine himself and to come back to God. Yes? Ye shall eat the gold of the land. Then God Almighty will bless such ones. And at the end, if we save such ones, that, one, that person continue in practicing the righteousness of God or exercising the fear of God. Then the psalmist had this to say. See, he's talking more about the forgiveness of the Father, of God Almighty. In Psalm 103, we are going to read verse 8, verse 10, and verse 13. Psalm 103, we are going to read verse 8, verse 10, and verse 13. Please read. The Lord is merciful and gracious. God Almighty, who we worship, is merciful. And, very, and, and he, has, he has favor on us. Merciful and gracious. Yes? Slow to hunger. He is slow to anger. Yes? And plenteous in mercy. He has a lot of mercy, plenteous in mercy. We can extend to even the children that have erred. The uh, Apostle Paul advised we, we should examine ourselves. Whether we are in the faith. Having done that, coming back to God Almighty, we are sure of forgiveness. Read on, please. He had not dealt with us after our sins. God Almighty had not dealt with us. The answer to which we have committed ourselves. Yes. Nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. He did not even go out to reward us according to our iniquities. No. Yes. Like as a father pitied his children. Like a father pitied his children. Like the father of the bodyguard son. He pitied him and received him back. Read on. So the Lord pitied them that fear him. So the Lord pitied those who fear him, particularly those who are prepared and ready to turn to him. Read on. See, that's all. So, brothers, sisters, and friends, we are talking this morning about repentance, about changing from a wrong course, and that also having assurance that the Almighty Father is there to forgive us. If this we do, whatever we have committed, the course of reading this thing and any area that uh, we have not done well, repent and come back to God Almighty. We are sure of his forgiveness by his grace and power. This is all right this morning. Please let us rise to take our closing song. We are taking TSP 189 part 2. TSP 189 part 2.
thank thee, most loving and almighty Father, the creator and possessor of heaven and earth, the God of mercy, the God of goodness, for thy loving kindness and mercy on us, and thy grace and power. We do give us, Father, to allow all that we have heard in course of the thing we have just discussed find place in us, that we use them to improve ourselves in thy service, to worship thee as thou hast ordained. We sincerely or shamefully acknowledge our weaknesses, our shortcomings, our transgressions before thee. We pray, Father, pray the Father to have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. We pray to guide us through thy Holy Spirit to practice thy righteousness as thou hast ordained. May thy will, O Father, come to be done in us, thy children for good. May we, thy children everywhere, live and love to do thy will at all times by thy grace and power, all to the honor, glory, and praise of thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Hail Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Christ.